Eddie, let's talk about that. Not right now, not right now. Hey, we're putting that uh, that over, team total over there at 64 to second. Yo, yo, we bet, man. I, I take after the low volume, dude. I'm just waiting for NFL. I took the uh, UCLA one. UCLA College. Oh, shilly. They got smacked. NFL, man. NFL, dude. Yeah, that's where I'm winning most of my money, too. Welcome in to the AFC NFC uh, Championship Hash Mark Show, folks. And if, if you're wondering where the hell my microphone is, uh, it's it's disappeared. Uh, the uh, Believe it or not, uh, we've given it to uh, the lead guy tonight here, which is uh, 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 the, the CEO of Jamsoul. Uh, John's Architectural Metal Solutions, Inc. He is with us here tonight, which is super exciting. Uh, but I, I had to give my microphone to him because I want him to sound better than me because I like to serve others as a leader as well. Not a CEO, but leader of this show. Let's go around the <laughs> horn first. Aaron, welcome to the show. First time in. Uh, before we go around the horn and do our jam soul, uh, thank you for everything. Thanks for joining us. Anything you'd like to say to the mass of the public out there? You have been getting your hands wet. You, you may or may not be the college basketball guy. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying. You know, I uh, I watch the show a lot. Uh, good stuff. I love uh, love the content, and uh, I'm excited to finally get on. I wish I could have come on earlier, but it's been tough. It's been uh, extremely busy. That's no, good. That's good. It's always hey, good. Being busy, being busy is a good problem to have. Yeah, right. sir. And you, 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 you are you are you are a Bears fan, correct? I, I can't remember. Absolutely. Okay. Bear, Bears, right. and Butler, Bears and Butler. Bears and Butler. Yeah. It's been it's been rough lately. It's been, it's been a rough as a sports fan between Bears, Butler, the White Sox, and the Bulls. I don't mm. know. I, I, oh, I, yeah. God, White Sox. Ugh. Not too hot right now. No, no, it's yeah. not. It's not not looking good on any any front right there. But uh, we had we had me, me and Rick were on Michigan tonight, plus five, plus five and a half. But uh, were you on anything on in that Michigan game? No, no, I didn't get on anything tonight. Nothing okay. tonight. So. Uh, Working hard tonight. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, it's been it's been not a lot of uh, sports watching today. So, so what do you, you got yeah. a cot behind you? Where do you sleep? Yeah, you got a bunker. <laughs> no, I'll stay here for a couple more hours. Get home. Okay. And, uh, get a few hours of sleep before the kids got to get up for school. All right. We had uh we had we had an inside tip on UCLA four and a half dead in cash. That's fine. Uh, you know I'm well, got smacked. Well, it sucks. You know, when you get 10 options, you got to pick one. I mean, leave it to me. <laughs> Just give me the fucking play tonight. <laughs> give me the lock, John, as we would say. Uh, God damn it. Um, well, thanks for joining us. You're now in this racketeer shit, so God bless you. And we're going to jump right into uh, uh, your segment, basically. The Jam Soul Lock of the Week, brought to you in part by John's Architectural Metal Solutions, Inc. You see this fine ACM panel behind me? I could go throw that through the whole sales pitch from not going to. Uh, but this is uh, the same panel that we make our signs with, and uh, the sign is not here today. So, uh, again, uh, sponsored by John's Architectural Metal Solutions, Inc., Jam Soul, our Jam Soul Lock the Week. Mine, I'm going with Robbie Gold. I'm going with Robbie Gold, first scorer in the San Francisco and the Philadelphia Eagles game. I think there's a play here. I think uh starts off a little bit slow. Everybody's going to want the under. We'll talk about that more later. That's my lock, though, uh, in that game. What are the, what are the what's the odds, odds? What, yeah, what's what the the odds? on that? Uh, they're, they're, they're like north of 600. I was at plus seven something earlier. Uh, this was wow. early, early okay. last week. Okay. So lock of the week. Okay. Yeah, I like my, my, my jam soul, jam soul lock of the week. I'm going with the team total Niners. Team total over 21 is my jam soul lock of the week, Jam. Beautiful, wow. beautiful. Yeah, my jam soul lock of the week this week is the Kansas City Cincinnati over 46 mm. and a half, Jan. Yes, sir. I like that. Uh, Beast, where are you going? We'll go Eddie and then over to Aaron. Yo, I'm going to stick with the team I've been riding with all playoffs long. Besides the, besides the Jaguars. I'm going 49ers money line plus 122. Okay. I got, I got that future on them, baby. I got to keep with them. You got to stay. When did you put in that future? 
Uh, when did I put that future? I just looked at that to tell you guys. I think it was December 27th. Wow, at that eight, was good. At 8.40 at night. It gives me the exact time. No, I, I thought 8.40 was your odds. I was like, damn. No, plus 5.50. And then okay. uh, my exacta is plus 2,000. So my exacta is San Francisco 49ers uh, runner-up Chiefs. So that's my exacta. Not bad there. Not bad there at all. Eddie, what do you got? Jam so lock of the week. Kansas City Chiefs minus 118 money line. Man, I mean, you know, this Home is all about favorite. Patrick Mahomes' legacy right here. They call you know, him uh, Arrowhead, Burrowhead, you know, disrespecting the Chiefs, disrespecting Kansas City. So if they lose, then, I mean, that's that's devastating. So I'm rolling yeah. with the Chiefs. Yeah, that's a tough one. We'll talk more about that later. Uh, Aaron, where are you going this week? Yeah, I'm going Niners money line. Niners money line. I, I think okay. I think they step it up. And I like Kyle Shanahan over Sirianni as a coach. Um, I, I think they, I think Purdy uh, brings them to the Super Bowl. All right, because we, because we led with that game, we'll go the opposite way and in complete reverse order. Uh, we'll go Cincinnati Bengals here, Kansas City Chiefs. This one's at this one is at Kansas City. We've seen a lot of line movement here. It's opened up at Kansas City plus three. Now they're minus one. At one point, Burrow was getting all the love. It's out of control. We're going to start with uh, Fontaine here. Uh, what do you got in this one? Uh, AFC Divisional. Uh, or excuse me, Championship. I, I, got, I got, I got, yeah, I got, I got some action. I got some action. We're going Bengals first half. Uh, I think it's going to be a tie, so I'm going to take that plus point five at minus one fifteen. We're going to go Bengals first half team total over ten and a half at plus one hundred. Uh, we're going to do the game over. I locked in at forty seven. Uh, I see that forty eight now. I locked in at forty seven. And then I'll talk about my props later. But uh, those are my three plays. Bengals first half plus 0.5. Uh, Bengals first half team total over 10 and a half for plus 100. And the game total over 47. All right, Eddie, uh, what do you got in this one for Cincinnati and Kansas City? Obviously, we know you're locked. Definitely Anything like else? the Chiefs. You know, like I said earlier, Burrowhead, Arrowhead, got to win. Chiefs got to win this game. I think they pulled through. Uh, the only thing in question is really uh, Patrick Mahomes' injury, uh, but I think he's going to be okay. Uh, but I feel like the Chiefs may not need uh, Patrick Mahomes, you know. Eddie, so, you, you threw something out to the, the thread earlier uh, about here's the first headline that we saw from a major outlet, and it was talking about Mahomes 0-3 against Burrow. Elaborate on that. What do you think? What's the, That's narrative here. Yeah, I mean, uh, Patrick Mahomes is well aware of uh, of what's being said. You know, like I said, the Burrow head. Like, I mean, I feel like the Chiefs have been Joe quiet, Burrow man. The Chiefs have been quiet. Chiefs. Yeah, they're saying Joe Burrow owns the Chiefs. That's like the 100% the storyline. And we'll just have to see, you know. Yeah. But I'm rolling with the Chiefs. Hometown squad, I think they come through. I think uh, anytime touchdown McKinnon, I think that's a gar- like. Lock, lock, and then and then that line. It wouldn't open up. It opened up. Bengals minus three, and mm-hmm. then it, then it went down to. I see the pick them. Yeah. Pick them was on Tuesday. Mm-hmm. And yeah, where's it at now? Back now to it's Kansas back City's to, favored now by well, one and uh, a half. Well, well yeah. and Kansas City. So that's where I had actually got it. Was at minus one earlier in the week, Kansas City, and then it went all the way the other way. And I'm like, okay, so so came back, grabbed Bengals plus two, all that Burrow love, wanted the three, came back around. That's when we teased it to plus eight and a half. It, it's insanity. It's been yeah. it's been through zero, which is which is crazy. All right, let's keep it going here. We'll go Aaron and then uh, uh, over to Ireland and a beast. I'm actually with Rick on the uh, first half Bengals. Uh, I, I love that play. I love the over on this game, and I actually think for my. A uh, little sleeper first touchdown score is T. Higgins. I, th- I think uh, Bengals come out. They come out hot. Uh, they get that first first uh, tutty, and then uh, second half. I think uh, KC makes a, a run to come back. I don't really know who I would pick at this point as to win. Um, you know, my gut says the Bengals, but I also don't like the fact that Burrow is undefeated against the Bengals. I feel like, you know, this could be his time to to get that first L, but. Uh, at this point, I'm not I'm not picking anything on on the line. Yeah, I, I'm probably the same. I'm probably gonna do something live when I get a read for the game. Um, I'm the same way. Got got no. I I have no idea what I'm gonna do on the side. Brian, uh, or excuse me, uh, hard at it, beast, then to Ireland. 
Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna go with I'm just gonna go with a couple straight plays here. I'm not I I, I listen to you guys a lot on the overs and unders because I really feel like I've been on the opposite side of where they actually go. So I feel you guys have a better read for that. But I'm just gonna go um, the Chiefs um, minus one at. At minus one ten, and then I'm gonna go with them at the money line at minus one twenty. Um, I think that the Chiefs are they've been so um, underestimated this year, and like people were saying that they wouldn't even be they were gonna be the bottom of the AFC West. Um, Prove that wrong. Um, they think they thought you know when Mahomes went down that the Chiefs were screwed last week. I think they're a team that's underestimated. Um, they're a team I don't like, but that's because I'm a Raiders fan. But you know, it's football and betting. You gotta, you know, think not, with your head. Think with your head. I think the Chiefs are just they're like Kelsey is a is a maniac. Even if he's like they try to cover him, they can't. So you know, it's like I think that he, I think the Chiefs, Mahomes and Kelsey get it done. And uh, I think especially in Arrowhead. You know, it's the atmosphere, and uh, I think Burrow is gonna finally. Uh, I think I'm not. I'm not in love with their offensive line. I think I don't know how how Burrow is gonna do. I keep saying that, but they keep winning. But I think I think the Chiefs are gonna win this one. I just that's how I feel. Yeah, no idea why why your Jaguars was with single coverage on Kelsey. They didn't. They didn't even <laughs> double cover the yeah. game. I mean, it was hey. wide the fuck open. They're Ireland. a young team, though. I'm just he's always say that. wide open. Ireland, we got in this one. Yeah, I'm. I'm with. I'm with Eddie. I like Kansas City money line in this in this game. I think because it's going back and forth. Like good luck against the spread. You're better off just picking a picking a side in this one, in my opinion. Um, and I, I like Kansas City. I think I saw something earlier, like only thirty something, like thirty eight percent of the money and the tickets are on Kansas City right now. Like nobody is trusting Kansas City, and. I think that's a big mistake. Andy Reid is, in my opinion, the best coach that's in this in the Final Four here, and um, I'm I'm trusting Andy Reid to, to get that to get that dub. And uh, Cincinnati's so fucking confident right now. I mean, they're talking shit. That Burrowhead shit. I mean, that is yeah, that's, that's fucked up. I mean, that's a tough yeah, place to play. Yeah, exactly. That's a really yeah. tough place to play. And like, granted, they have been winning, but. I don't know. This this is this is where uh, I think and, they and, get. And a... Usually, you know, Bur- usually Burrow, you know, you like him as a dog, you know. But then he was a favorite, you know. Then I was like, damn, I better see some KC money coming in. Then you finally did. Um, yeah. And now, now I'm seeing what KC minus one. So Burrow's back in the dog. But man, that that Burrow had. Wow. I mean, it's I, funny. You know, it's I funny. definitely kept watching this line all week because at one point, like I think it started out it was minus one and a half, and not said he had it at minus three. I don't know how or when he got it because, like, <laughs> as soon as it was available on Caesars, it was Dude, minus. Yo, now we got that every, tweet pop every, every show. He's like, uh, I don't know how y'all got plus plus two. I got plus ten yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> but it's been it's been uh one and a half one pick them and then it's back to one. I jumped back on it when it was at one because the Chiefs could very well win this one by you know ten. You know? Yeah it's well, be, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they're up big. I'm yeah at some I'm, point. I'm, I'm 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 going um like I said I've got a book Chiefs minus one uh and, and I took the over uh it's not a it's not a, a great play as of right now there's obviously more money coming in on the under percentage on the tickets are on the over which is not good but hopefully that gets a little bit uh, the other way but either way I like the over in both these games just because I got fucked last week but you would imagine that this game from the mindset how we've been thinking all season the Cincy Chiefs game. Oh, it's naturally going to go over. So let's take the under. Nah, I'm just going to go with what we see. High flying offenses. I mean, that offensive line for the Bengals, I have no clue, but I can tell you this what I've seen all week. Joe Burrow, he's 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 legit ice cold. So that's something that um Chris Jones he, he, he's got it. Game. He's got it. Yeah. And he's got all the names, yeah. everybody in his fucking mind, whoever doubted him or went before him. Like that shit scares me. You don't need an O line for that if you've got a guy like Chase. So, but I still, 
Andy Reid, Ireland, you hit nail on the head. I, I got to go Andy Reid. Yeah, he, all the he, weapons he's they the have. Best come coach on. out of the four. He's come definitely on. the best coach out of the four. And then uh, just a playback of last week. So I was on Buff. I was, excuse me, I was on Bengals first half money line, game money line. And I knew right away in that first drive, I was on the right side. The Bengals just looked so goddamn sharp in that cold weather, in the oh. snow. He had no pressure on Burrow, just sat back. They were talking about the pressure on him all, all week. He was just sitting back there, time, stepping up, dumping off. He looked great. All right, last week. Be, be, because you brought it up, I want to go around the horn real quick. And we, we've got it. We've got a lot of social media to talk about. Damar uh, Hamlin, Hellman, Hellman, Hamlin, Hamlin. Hellman's, Hellman's male. Where is he? <laughs> is he dead? Where, what? Who wants to start? I'll Hellman's go last. Male. Damar Hellman's. <laughs> I'll go. I started off. I started off. So um, I feel like objectively we can say, the Hamlin situation was a ritual, like guaranteed. I think a big piece of evidence is the ambulance. Mm-hmm. You know, it wasn't a real ambulance. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, I feel like I was watching me, well, yeah. 9-11 me, again, Eddie. Yeah. The, what got me was uh, the only thing that was just shifty right away was, you know, you got, you got smoked in the chest. You go down. You, you, you stand up, you go like this to, to shush the uh, Higgins, and then you collapse. My personal opinion, not a medical professional, but if you get smoked <laughs> in the chest, it's if, if you have a heart attack, you, it happens right away. You don't stand up. You know, and there's a, We're talking maybe a second, second and a half, but if you're going to get smoked, that happens right now. Heart stops, you collapse. You don't get up on your feet. They say, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. That, I, then Ireland, the, then, the, then the ambulance, and then, and then you know, CPR, AD, I, I don't know. I mean, I, we'll go Ireland, Brian, and then Aaron. One more thing. One more thing. One more thing. Yeah, with the go, ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. They say they say that you know he wasn't breathing for for nine minutes. I mean, we're talking yeah, that's brain what I was dead after say that. Too. We're yeah. talking brain dead. water. And it happened twice. Uh, I heard. I heard. I, I just. I mean, I'm, I, we're obviously not doctors, so we're probably all wrong about everything we're saying here. But I've got I heard a, like I got, after I got, four I minutes. MD. I got an MD. I got background. After four minutes, I hear like your fucking a lot of your organs shut down and shit, and it's really hard for, for him to come brain, back heart, quickly as as quickly as they did. And then, you know, him in the booth, you can't even fucking see inside, and then they don't oh, show yeah, his yeah. face at all. Uh, you know, it's it's just a little weird. It's a little, a little weird strange. for sure. I don't know. Okay, yeah, I don't know where going. he is. I'll, I'll keep I'll keep fucking going. Hold on, wait, Rick, Rick, I'm not a medical professional. He's like, you know, the neurons in the brain. <laughs> Hey, Brian no, and then I'm Aaron, saying. and we'll go back. We'll go back to no, Rick. No, this Brian, is what I'm saying. Any, well, <laughs> Brian, any thoughts on it or no? I, you know, I, I've i been watching a lot of shit. It's like, I, it's bizarre. Uh, it's bizarre. But, you know, it's like there are players that have had heart injuries and stuff like that. Um, the Raiders had a guy, uh, DJ Hayden. Um he he had that happen to him in college where he got in like practice he got hit and uh something happened to his heart i think like a vein detached from it or something and you know he was able to survive it uh i you know i'm just i don't know what to think of the situation i've been just sitting back and listening to all you guys and, and watching the thing i really don't have an honest opinion on it so i can't really can't really Aaron, say Aaron, much. Aaron, Aaron, what do you got here? So the thing that first off, I, I rode the DeMar story uh, and had a future on the bills. So I'm a little uh, hurt about that one right now. Okay. So, but the thing that uh, I wish I could have taken back was that he's trying to capitalize financially on this. If you see all the stuff that he's doing, he's getting trademarks for this and trademarks for that about uh, the whole scenario to try to make money off of it. I think that's pretty crazy. I mean, I I guess business is business, but seriously, like if you did really just almost die, um, wouldn't it be that it shouldn't be that quick for you to try to go capitalize on it? You know what I mean? Like it's, it's pretty insane to be sitting there and trying to file trademarks for all of these sayings that came out while he was in the hospital. Like it's, it's pretty nuts. So lawyers, man. Eddie, uh, yeah, if it wasn't, and a- also his charity is called Chasing M's, Chasing M's, hmm. Chasing yeah. M's. So, uh, 
Eddie, if it was a sacrifice, and we'll go to Rick, Rick Wan talking in here, uh, what was it for? You know, and then how about the how about I said the, ritual? Oh, ritual. Okay, sorry, my bad. Okay, my bad. Sacrifice. I mean, there's a lot of different. My bad. Things. My bad. All I right, feel so, like something that recently happened. Um, Dana White, the Dana White situation <laughs> happened out in uh, Cabo San Lucas. Yeah, and he just so he happens to be starting a fucking. And he uh, and he hit his wife or whatever. Yeah. And he's starting yeah. a league, a, a, so like, a smack league or whatever the fuck it's yeah. called. What's it called, yeah. Beast? Yeah. It's, he's say? starting a league. Dana White starting a oh, league. That, 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 slap, that slap fight thing. thing it's yeah. yeah. Come on. I, he slaps his wife and then he started. I mean, come on. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. It was it was and now nobody can know that, what like but... nobody gets to know like what kind of a penalty he has or, or like anything. Like they just came out and said, nope, we're shutting it down. He's also not, another thing. Can't is find out any Andrew information Tate. on this. But we should get on to the Eagles and 49ers. So the whole yeah. Andrew Tate thing is not real. Like, sure, it's not, sure. Definitely, no, definitely. Yeah, we know that. I just, you know, uh, sure. DeMar, no, no, last think... thing I'll say on this, you know, no interview, no, in, you know, it, it just seems sketchy. And and that's all I got. Rick, yeah. what you no, yeah, they say, I'm going to piggyback that. Yeah. You know, he's tweeting his balls off on the couch and then he, he's going to go to the stadium, make a big thing. It covers face with the mask. You know, if, if you're not going to fucking come on the camera and, and thank your thank everybody for supporting you and pl- praying for you, then stay the fuck home. You know? Yeah. You think, yeah. get on the, get, get, uh, take it, take it, take a 30 second interview, show your face and talk and thank everybody. If you're going to do that, stay at home. Thank you. Final, final <laughs> question. Yeah. We're, we're going to go into the Eagles here, but some are saying that he's dead in the biggest cover up ever. Uh, NFL history guys dead. Anyways, uh, Philadelphia, excuse me, uh, Philadelphia, San Francisco. Let's uh, get to the NFC. Let's bring it home here. We'll start with Ireland. What do you got in this championship matchup here? This matchup, I mean, it's, a, it's a tough one. I mean, you got the best defense versus the best offense in the NFC. Um, you know, it's, it's going to be a tough one. Again, good luck picking a side, in my opinion, good luck uh, picking a side against the spread. I, I think you got to pick a side here, and in, in my side's Philly. Um, I, it's... I just can't tr- I can't trust that Purdy is going to be able to, to to get it done in the in like in the second half when the Super Bowl is on the line. I mean, I know Shanahan's a great coach. I, I agree one hundred ten percent with you, Johns. I I, I Super love Bowl Kyle Shanahan. Not on the line. It's, it, it, but it's yeah. like, yeah, this is a big fucking game here. Sure, 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 sure. And you know, Hurst Hurst Hurts is uh he's yeah he's been there, lost, and he's 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 hungry. So I, I like I like Philly at home, and I think that crowd's just going to be fucking ruckus, dude. It's going to be a tough place to play. Aaron, what do you got in this one? Well, this is my jam soul lock of the week. I had uh, the Niners, right? Niners money line. And I think it's going to be a great game. Like, I think it's going to be just down to the wire. Uh, I love Jalen Hurts. I love the Eagles. I love the way that they play. But when I look at a game like this, I look at who the coaches are. And, yeah, they've got Purdy, but he's proven over the last however many weeks that he can step up in a big game. And so I'm not as worried about him uh, playing in this game because I think Shanahan will have him ready. They've got the defense. He's got so many uh, weapons around him that can hide any of his inefficiencies. So I really think that it's going to come down to, at the end, I I think it'll be a high-scoring game, but I do think at the end it's going to come down to the Niners' defense stopping the Eagles to win the game. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, from, yeah. Yeah. They don't give up. They don't give up yeah, points yeah, in the fourth cool. quarter. Sorry, Rick. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. I mean, just going on a, a public perception. We all seen the Eagles smack the Giants. Right. Came out. Came out fast. Came out hungry. They smacked them. It was 26, 27, nothing. First half. I like the Niners first half uh, plus one and a half. I think it's going to be another tie tie game at halftime. So I'm going to take the plus one and a half uh, game over 46 and a half. Like double like uh, like Dave doing a double over. Because we're going to piggyback that and take the under Super Bowl, no matter who's playing, no matter what the line is, you take the under Super Bowl. Guaranteed. I agree with that. Yeah, I agree um, with that. I got some props. I'm, I'm going to I'm going to sit on. We'll come back to it. But uh, I think the Niners. I think the Niners start off hot in that first half. Okay. Yeah. For uh, for me, um, you know, Niners. Uh, you know, uh, money line Niners plus two and a half. You know, listen, I've seen this defense, and um, it's it's really tough. You want the three? Nots, Nots even said it. This is complete, just home field. But whatever, that's what they're 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 putting it at. So, um, you know, love the over in this one. I was on it right when it came out. Uh, glad to see these lines level back out. I was terrified at first, but uh, it didn't drop. I was glad to see this line come back up uh, to even water. So, on the over in this game, 
And uh, the lean, I mean, I'm on it. Uh, yeah, San Francisco uh, and uh, the 49ers money line here. I think they get it done. Uh, Beast, where you at? Um, I, I would, I know you guys are saying over, but I do lean on the under here because uh, these are two great defenses. Like, and Philadelphia, I don't think they've faced a defense like the 49ers all year. I've been watching a lot of just different um like first take and all that stuff just watching i you know on my downtime that's um, good watch, this is, watch the narrative yeah it's good and it's just like they have not <laughs> i'll fade the, you i'll just fade you what okay you, you go you ahead start? fade me fade me all you want I well no i was just I, I listen if ricky knots was here right now here's what he would say and yeah, he, yeah he's he, not here he, though i so, love you i love uh, you he's but not. when too <laughs> good when two good defenses go against each other yeah. you normally get an over because yeah, prime yeah, time yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell you why because prime me hold on mate talk too much hold on <laughs> yeah. hey, you just like, no i'm kidding the lord has not blessed you yet b no i'm kidding <laughs> the lord the lord is blessing the lord has blessed me hey we're ricky i want to meet that ricky fontaine guy yeah. uh, <laughs> um i just think that they're two good defenses Jalen Hurts, I I don't think he's gonna go out and perform like he usually does. Um I got I got a prop bet on him too. He scares um, which, me though. He does which I'll talk me. about which I'll talk about. I mean he's hungry, but I think the somebody give him some food. Why everybody keeps saying he's hungry. Is he not eating? He's like, I'm starving for this. I'm hey, like, what's the hey Rick? Can we get a can we get a can we get a uh, a quick uh we need intel on the uh, Philadelphia Eagles uh chef staff there. You're right. Calorie count. He's on a calorie count. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, um, I'm on the I'm on the four United plus two and a half, um, plus plus one twenty two money line. I would I'm leaning under just because I think that the defenses are gonna are gonna go this game uh, despite what you know Knott says. You know, sometimes you just gotta go with the, what you think. You know, yeah. we, if we all had the same picks, you know, we'd only need one person here, right? You just, yeah. I love it. I love it. You speak, you but, speak um, obvious. yeah, I just, I think that, I think the defenses are going to, are going to gridlock here. Um, and I think it's going to be under 45. I think it might even be under 42. Wow. All wow. Here. Rick, where are you at? And then we're going to Eddie. And then, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Eddie, right? Rick already went, I think. Rick already went. He loves that first half. Here you go. Eddie, where are you at? Yeah, man. So my money is on a tease. 49ers, so plus like nine and a half, ten and a half, whatever. Uh, but I'm rooting for the I'm rooting for the Eagles. I mean, I don't know if you all knew, but I went to Temple in Philadelphia, my alma mater is Temple, North mm-hmm. Philly. Nice. Yeah, uh, I know yeah. That. so I definitely that. I got a lot of friends that uh you know rep the Eagles, and I actually went to the Eagles uh Andy Reid's first homecoming game. Uh, where McNabb got the inducted to the Hall of Fame or whatever. Um, yeah, man. So, yeah. I mean, Eagles, Chiefs would be like my dream Super Bowl, but Andy Reid Bowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd be crazy. But I, I, think I, was, at, I was at that Eagles. I, mean, I was at that Eagles. Forty Nine is tough, Soldier man. Field. They're hot. They got that defense. You know, defense is critical. You know, mm-hmm. sure. And I think that the uh, AJ Brown. I like him anytime touchdown. He's due. Mm-hmm. I agree Ready. with that. I agree with that for sure. All right, let's go around the horn real quick because one of the things we're doing this year a little bit different, Ricky Knotts is going to be selling his props this year uh, on HashmarkSports.com. Also, his NFC, uh, AFC divisional plays are up there right now. That's not he's not on the show tonight. It's one of the new things we're doing here. And no offense, he just talks too damn much, and I didn't want to deal with it. <laughs> I found out he was at a birthday party, so we didn't want to have him on. Uh, I love I love his, I love his kidding. intel though. I you know as much but, you but know, the reality, I don't think he talks too much. No, nah, it's Super Bowl. I feel it's a like joke. it's cool. not knowledge. The reality is this is we're gonna go around the horn here and give our Super Bowl prediction. Um, and that's it because really it's only two options. So it doesn't matter who ends up in it. Uh, I think we're gonna all release our own TikTok video and some sort of pick next week and uh you know give our Super Bowl play on the game, but Let's go around the horn and, and see what we uh, uh, who we think is going to be there and who we think is uh, possibly going to win. Uh, anybody want to go first? Uh, Rick? Yeah, I'll go, I'll go first yeah. and I'll give two. It's going to be <laughs> Bengals Niners or Philly Chiefs. Guaranteed victory. Wow. Can I bet that? I would love yeah, to. Yeah, I think so. You're going to lose one of them. I got yeah. You are. I got hey, that Kansas sounds like City, a bad Philly opening one out there. Mm-hmm. Um, 
you know, for me, no, I don't know. I mean, I just, I just feel you know, it's gonna be you know, Andy Reid Super Bowl, or it's gonna be the old school 1988, 1989, yeah, you know, Montana versus the Bengals. You know, that's listen, they're so cool. There's a there's a lot of scripts here, and I'm just gonna you know, it's I'm kind of contradicting myself, contradicting myself going with this Jalen Hurts, you know, youngest quarterback ever to win 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 the title. You know, Patrick Mahomes, the last quarterback to do it. Uh, you know, last African American quarterback to do it, of course, was 25 years old. Jalen Hurts, 24. Where is the number four? Also, would be the uh, fourth African American to win uh, a Super Bowl. Doug Williams, Russell Westbrook, Russell Westbrook, <laughs> hard at it. Uh, Aaron Rodgers, no, just kidding, he's white. Um, no, uh, Doug Williams, Russell, uh, what's his fucking name? Wilson. Wilson. I, Wilson. I hate Russell. him. Russell. Listen, Russell. Um, so, uh, anyways. <laughs> hard at it but uh yeah i i think i think um i gotta ride the kurt warner 13 purdy story i think somehow some way does the nfl put purdy and burrow together the two pretty boys i don't know we'll see Uh, but uh, i I think here's here's my prediction i think uh too many weapons in kc chiefs win the super bowl uh we'll go over to uh, ireland and then uh aaron what do you got here and then uh brian uh completely exactly what rick has i i think if Philly wins game one, taking Kansas City. If San Francisco wins, taking Cincinnati. And th- th- those sure. are going to be those are going to be the Super Bowls. You're going to take um, Cincinnati over uh, against that defense. Yep. And Shanahan. Yep. Yeah. Wait. Okay. Oh, you're talking about like so- Super Bowl winner? Whoa. No. No. Well, you just said it. if 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 Philly yeah. wins, yeah, then KC will win. But if Purdy wins, yeah. I know, but yeah. he said you, you said Shanahan against the defense. I thought you were talking about it, like, to win the Super Bowl. Um, yeah, all right. yeah. Well, did you have a Super Bowl pick too? If they were to play each other, or no? I, I got futures on Kansas City and uh, San Francisco. So okay, okay. We'll see what happens. I, I also got a future on the Kansas City and Philly making it, just making it. So the exacto match. So okay. let's see, John. All right, let's go over to Aaron. Aaron, what do you got here? I got Niners versus Bengals in the Super Bowl. Uh, my heart would love to see Jalen Hurts in there. It's simply because that's a clone of what Justin Fields can be. Um, but I think that um, I think that Purdy and Burrow are going to be going head to head. Wow, I I don't know. I don't know. It's hard. It's hard to tell. <laughs> uh, Beast, what you got here? Oh, we know my uh, my play has always been 49ers since December twenty seventh, baby. Uh, 49ers straight up to win, and then the 49ers exacta over the Chiefs. Um, if the Bengals do happen to win, um, yeah, the 49ers beat Bengals. Um, if the 49ers, or if it's the Eagles, Bengals, I'm saying Bengals, it'll be Joe's time to shine, and then you know, he'll make the playoffs consistently, and then he'll probably get another Super Bowl later in his career. I just think he'll get one early, get one late, and then. It'll be done. One uh, beast. One last thing I wanted to add. Rick knows. Uh, I just want to let everybody uh, sleep on this one. Uh, 49ers, red and white colors, going back to the Pope. Pope died this year. Uh, but uh, Brock Purdy, what city is he from in Arizona, Rick? Do you remember? Uh, Queen Queen City is it? Queen Where's City. It? So going back to Rick's Ooh. Queen thing, there might be something there with Purdy. So the, que- I, the I, Queen, the Queen died on the first day. Uh, NFL, really? Uh, open yeah. Season. Open yeah. Purdy's just, from a city called Queen City. Queen City. Cincinnati. Cincinnati's nickname is the Queen City. Sure. So we might be seeing some Ooh. weird shit there. Check hey that out. Hey yeah. Now. yeah, got me out of San Francisco. I no, got man. change. I'm changing my bets now. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, is right. that what you're on? Aren't you on that? <laughs> Uh, what I'm on, uh, I'm on Niners and uh, Chiefs. Oh, okay, so, so you're going to, yeah, you had Bengals. All I right, had, so. I had, I had Niners, Chiefs, and then uh, Niners over uh, Bills. Those, I had those two. The, the odds were so good that I did both of them. Let's go around the horn real quick. I know Rick mentioned uh, earlier, uh, a couple uh, Eddie, of... Eddie Major, what's your pick? Sorry, Eddie Major. Sorry, 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 you know, I'm rooting for the uh, the Eagles versus the Chiefs. But I think that the 49ers are probably going to beat the Eagles. And also, I'm also predicting a uh, significant uh, damage or destruction done in Philadelphia. I was going to say another thing that I was going to mention about he, the he Kurt the Warner correlation. Draft? Yes, yeah, he yeah. was Mr. Yeah. Irrelevant. Mr. Yes. Irrelevant, yeah. The other thing I was going to add about um, 
the Warner and uh, Purdy correlation. I know we uh, love to talk about that, right? Um, both they were both on NFC teams when they won the Super Bowl as well. So interesting. Okay, it, no, that Purdy, makes sense. Didn't Purdy sense. and Hurts play in college? Didn't they yeah. play against each other in yes, college? Yeah, they did. Yes, Oklahoma yeah, they did. and Iowa Alabama State. Alabama yeah. and Iowa yeah. State. Yeah, there's a picture oh, of them. No, 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 Oklahoma, uh, Oklahoma, Oklahoma, and Iowa oh, State. Oh, really? Because they're both Big Twelve. Okay. And did I did was that the game that Iowa State beat Oklahoma? Did they? Beat I, think, I think I think uh, I think Oklahoma, Oklahoma beat them. Oklahoma yeah, that, won, but Purdy had better stats. Okay. Wow. I mean, we've got a Mister Relevant who looks quite like Tom Brady at this point. The before that, uh, what, what, and and um uh, did uh, degenerate uh, degen wait hard at it. What is it? Discipline degen. Discipline degens. Uh, they talked about it on their show that uh, Nick Saban. You know, got rid of Hurts and also had some bad things to say about Purdy, how he's slow, can't throw. Um, and just so it's kind of, you know, it's funny with, with that, on that on that front too. Can somebody answer this question for me? Why 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 didn't anybody stop those slants over the middle in San Francisco last week? I mean, they, they were running everything in between the numbers all game long. And I worried about Debo. The Cowboys didn't in. stop it. And he got T. Y. Oh. Hilton wide open. Dak missed him. Anyways, yeah. we're done there. No, anyway, wait, let me. That's one thing I, I kind of forgot about it because it was it was it was you know Sunday getting late you know. But uh, <laughs> how about, um, who was that the, like the kick returner from Dallas? He could have ran it back, but like jumped him jumped I know. into yeah. the kickers. He, tried, he jumped into him. I mean, what that, are you doing? That, Plant that your was, foot and you can't. Him. Yeah, you what can't. Are you doing? Uh, uh, another thing i want to say about brock purdy a lot of mock drafts his junior year when after like if he would have went out his junior year they were saying he was a first or second round pick and then you know a senior year he had kind of a poor season dropped but, but played a was, lot but played was, a lot of games and that's a that's he that's was something to be said about that he was highly touted until he kind of fell off his senior year and he just you know that's how if you look at a lot of these mock drafts they are high on people and then if they stick around for their senior season they exactly. just boom yeah, yeah sure yep yeah i, mean, I would I, never if as, as an athlete i would never do that i'd go to the i'd go to the draft yeah yeah, yeah yeah oh yeah but but the cream does rise at the top right and we're seeing it with party mr rove i mean if, but listen, I agree with Knotts. Shanahan is not going to put him in a position to turn the ball over. And so far, so good. Um, let's go around the horn, though, with props. Anybody got any? What, uh, Aaron, do you have something to say? What I was going to say, I mean, I remember Purdy, uh, like, I remember that game against Oklahoma. And I remember, like, Iowa State, they had a pretty decent squad for those first few yeah. years that he was uh, the starter, right? Because I think. Mm -hmm. If he played Hurts, he would have been a sophomore. Yeah. Or I think a sophomore, right? Yeah. So, I mean, I, I distinctly remember being pretty damn good in college. So, it's actually surprising that he ended up being Mr. Irrelevant, mm -hmm. you know, after one maybe crappy season at, at Iowa State. But, I mean, you would think that uh, his previous games would outweigh that. But, hey, here we are. I think, I, think all the, I think all the other coaches heard Saban say that he had a shitty arm, not good speed slow white you know the whole fucking mm -hmm. thing yeah. yeah well it's crazy though if you think about it if he had one bad season jordan love his senior season he had a terrible season and mm -hmm. at utah state and they because all his receivers were gone and then they Se said that's seven, by the way we have seven minutes left on the timer just heads up uh we're gonna wrap this up here in a minute uh do we have does anybody have any props they want to go over uh again we're gonna have the ricky Nats prop package out there um I gave one. Does does anybody have any props? Yeah, any major goes He's and got I'll some. Go. Yeah, I got, I got, I got a few two, too. I got two picks. I got McKinnon. I got AJ Brown anytime touchdown. Go ahead, beast. It up. Um, I've got uh, Jamar Chase and Travis Kelsey in a in a two uh, two player parlay anytime touchdown for them. Um, and then I also did a. Um, Quarterbacks one on the NFC side. I got Brock Purdy over one and a half and Jalen Hurts under one and a half. Now it's probably gonna sound crazy, but anytime I think Jalen Hurts is expected to perform, he doesn't. So and then I have a first touchdown of George Kittle 
Um, that's plus 900. I think, you know, Purdy's going to like to – he likes to get the ball to him, and I think he's going to get a touchdown, the first one. Oh, wow. Look at Beast. Look at Beast. Nice. That's uh, nice. I, got, I, got, uh, I got a couple. I'm going to ramble off here. Uh, I got Hertz longest rush is going to be over 13 and a half yards. Okay. Uh, Hertz passing TD is going to be over one and a half knots, over one and a half. First touchdown of that first game, Kittle, first tutty. Plus one thousand. I got plus one thousand on that, Damn. and I got a uh, a three team, a three piece, um, not three team, three uh, three piece. Anytime, Tony Kittle, Devante, AJ Brown, plus seventeen hundred. Okay, I've got, got uh, I've got I've got all that down. Uh, we've got uh, Robbie Gold first score San Francisco game plus seven hundred. We've also got uh, your boy, your boy AJ Brown, as as Eddie said, anytime score. I've got Jalen Hurts. Uh, anytime TD as well. I love a QB sneak or a draw there. Uh, that's a no-brainer. And uh, that's it for me. Aaron, you got anything? Well, I had uh, T. Higgins' uh, first touchdown score uh, okay. for uh, the Bengals game. And then I got uh, McCaffrey over 80 yards and McCaffrey over 50 yards receiving. So 80 yards rushing, 50 yards receiving. I think he has a big game. Ireland, you got anything out there? Uh, I haven't <clears throat> booked anything, but uh, I like Devontae Smith anytime touchdown. Hmm. Uh, Kelsey anytime touchdown. And I like, uh, I can never say his name right. Pack, 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 Pacheco. 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 I like, I like him to score yeah. too. Um, Hot chip then, challenge. I also like Tyler Boyd <laughs> for Cincinnati to score. Tyler yeah. Boyd. And then in that, in that second game, I got Burrow uh, passing yards over 279 and a half yards. Uh, mixing over receptions, over three and a half uh, receptions. First tutty in that one. First tutty in that one. Hayden Hurts, plus 1,700. Hayden Hurts. And a three-piece in that second game, the nightcap three-piece. Hurts, McKinnon, Higgins, plus 2,700, Jan. Wow. Hurts, McKinnon, Higgins, plus 2,700. Book it now. Yeah, Higgins, Higgins uh, first touchdown uh, score odds are plus 1,000. Wow, plus a thousand. You know, yeah. I do like uh I am looking at the Pat Mahomes over rush yards. I think they're low due to the ankle. The steam is coming on the under. Remember, we're always gonna fade the steam. Maybe it wasn't the, it wasn't even available. What's the rush yard at? I'm gonna look at the over of uh, right now, 24 and a half yards. Wow. For it Mahomes. wasn't even available on my book. He looked all right, he looked healthy. And, uh, um listen, you know, and he can be dragging his leg. That I was a that was a body double, don't you know that? Was a body man, double, man. Doing <laughs> Um, we're gonna take us out here. Hey, thanks everybody. Remember, place the bet because you believe so, not because you said so. Hey, that's a wrap for season two. Can you believe it that we're done? Wow. Uh, any final thoughts going into uh, uh, AFC divisional and then into the Super Bowl again? Could be a bonus show to next week. No clue. Uh, but as far as right now, any final thoughts? We'll start with Ireland. Go. Uh, we'll go there, and then we'll go to Beast and around the horn. Um. Really, I think it's going to be the Andy Reid bowl. That's 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 my uh, my angle. This my my narrative. My angle, Andy Reid bowl. Peace. What do you got here? I think I think I'm uh, high on the 49ers. I think the the 13 theory holds up. And uh, one of the last things I'm always, I'm going to say is always never bet beyond your means. That's another uh, wise advice. Hell yeah, Eddie. Final thoughts here. So and championship week. Do I get a refund if Knotts, if I pay for Knotts' picks and they don't hit? Yeah, <laughs> you, get, you, get, you get in-store credit. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. No, I think, uh, you know, go, go fucking Chiefs, man. It's it's all about the Chiefs. It's, this is the day. This is the week. Let's That's do right. It. God bless. I like that. Uh, Fontaine, where are we at? Championship week. What do you got going on? Big week for you. Are you on this wave yet? You're going to pry the jet tonight? Where are you going? Yeah, we're going to be going to Mexico next week. We'll see. (laughs) But uh, we had had a good week. We swept the board on Sunday, so that feels good. Going to try to ride high and uh, continue that ride that wave. Man, I still don't know a side I'm going to be on. I'm going to do do some live bets for sure. Maybe um, we'll have maybe we'll have some TikToks for Fontaine this week. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll go live. We'll go live on TikTok. But it all <laughs> matter. I mean, I'm gonna know. I'm gonna know my side after that first game. I, I'm, I'm gonna know my side. If, if if San Fran wins, I'm going Bengals. If Philly wins, I'm going KC. That's a fact. I'm gonna lay it down right now. It's a fact. 
Yeah. Okay. I, uh, Aaron, Aaron, uh, uh, any final thoughts here going into championship week? Not in football. I'm just excited for uh, a future show where everyone can be in the same room together. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah baby. Uh, that'd be nice. Feel that. That'd, that'd be great. America. It'd be hard I mean, for me. Maybe host the March Madness <laughs> or something so we can do a little tour. Whatever yeah. you guys figure out, man, I'm down. Just let me know. All right. Uh, so, out. so how, so how, who's going to take us out? Like, who's going to say, you know, what time it is. <laughs> Break the book. Eddie. Run! That was it. Run! That was it. Run 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 it.